right, today we'll be talking about eutrophilic dermatosis. Um, it's commonly called sweet syndrome. It is a rare, painful skin disease, um, most common in canines, but all animals and humans are um, able to get it. Um, their causes, there's no known specific cause for sweet syndrome. It's suggested that it's an immune-mediated hypersensitivity reaction that may be part of the um, pathogenesis. So the dog that I've seen came in, um, she was actually a coworker, her pug had the disease, and he um, just obtained it randomly. So no, no unknown like, um, disease beforehand. Um, some symptoms, clinical signs are fever, lameness, and elevated heart rate. Physical signs are skin lesions, dry skin, and small red bumps. Um, the bumps can grow quickly in size and normally start around the abdomen and extend toward the legs and neck. Diagnosis, um, so the vet that I worked with, she did a physical exam and then blood work, um, and then there were a couple lesions on the pug, so then she did a biopsy on the lesions. Um, it often won't be diagnosed as sweet, syn sweet syndrome first, um, just because there's, um, it's not very like known to be a common disease, disease along with like the rest of the symptoms. And a lot of vets, when they do their physical examinations, they don't really look particularly at the skin um, because there is no hair loss on the spots. They're just spots there. So if it's a dark haired dog, you can't really see the red spots. So treatment, there's not much you can do for the disease since there is no cure for it per se. Um, the most is um, antibiotics. The one that she had her, the pug put on was um, dexamethasone and then corticoid steroid treatment. Um, it's just a disease that you have to be able to manage to keep the pain and the inflammation down and then just to keep it at bay. And it's mostly seen with middle age to later age dogs. Okay, and I guess one question is, where does the name sweets come from? Um, that I was trying to find, and I couldn't find an exact answer. I found some. Um, one said it was, um, it was because it was like a sweet spot for the animal. Like not, a, it was referred to like a hot spot because they itch it a lot, but they called it sweets because it's like a, sweet spot that the dog always like touched okay um or this i can't remember the other one mm -hmm. you know because sometimes like, when you have a name like that it could be named after a person that discovered yeah, it you know because yeah, like, uh, you know sometimes if somebody recognizes something and then uh writes an article about it then they kind of their name hangs with it so mm -hmm. i i hadn't heard about it before and you make a good point about the misdiagnosis because if it's relatively rare you're always looking for the most common things mm -hmm. first and you have to rule them out and yeah. 